So what I bring you today is a video recorder, 1080. So now you can record, you can play, PCR, DVD players, anything you have there. It's portable, beautiful screen, and HD, 1080. I'll show you how this thing works right now. How are we doing everyone? My name is Dario. This is MediaBoxNT.com and I'm going to show you this great open box and at the same time we're going to be testing. So you know what is good this? How about if you want to just go and record your gameplay? Get this. Just plug it in in the back of your uh, Xbox. I'll put to your TV. You will to see it here real time and record it. Then take the memory down, put it on your computer and re-edit it. Anything you want to capture. It's real nice to do a lot of things. Or how about if you're recording with the camera, you want to output through the camera and then record it to this unit and then check this out, plug it in into your video editing, it's a good video. Or if you have a v if you got this to have uh, some uh, DVD player uh, and you want to record DVD, so maybe you still have uh, those VCR and you want to transfer it into digital format. Well, this has all the cables, easy. You don't need to plug anything out because this has a screen, you'll be able to see it. But you know what? I show you the whole thing right now all right so let's see what we get nice box all right so a screen five inch all led screen a stereo speaker aluminum alloy vintage large capacity for the battery all right supports up to up to 1080 and av and supports recording playback in 1080 and usb so let's see that right now real nice box so let's put the screen in the side Let's pick what else we get here. I think they got to be the manual. We're going to look into that. And the cables. So regular. Your video. Left, right, AV. That will be for your VCR. If we still have a DVD player, to use that. The power supply adapter. Type C for charging. Oh, connecting on your computer and why not we always need a nice extra HDMI cable that's about that here instructions how to use it support car thank you car all right here tell you you know before you use it you know make sure you format your SD card you can do it on your computer factory 2 on uh, extend that and the maximum will be 128 gigabytes. Remember, make sure you use 10 or higher SD card. Make sure you use a good SD card. Very important for that, all right? Because that will give you a problem. In different language here. So we got uh, Dutch, Spanish, Italian, French, and English. How to use it. How the whole thing works. You know what? I'll show you right now. We don't need to read the manual. We'll keep down the side. Let's go to the meat and potatoes. That's what we want to see. All right, so let's see this beautiful uh, digital recorder and aluminum alloy. So it looks real nice. If we look, input and output, HDMI output. So you can go to an output for another display. HDMI input, so input has through to something else. So here you can play it or whatever you have here. Video in, DVD players maybe, or VCR in, in regular AV out. All right, that's on the side. If you look into the side, then the SD card can with already 64 gigabytes, guys. All right. I know that shows like a blank, but this is 64 gigabytes. So do insert right there. Make sure you format the first time. We got it right over there. Now we look at the top type C. So you're going to charge the device. Top A if you want to put a thumbnail to record. I would not recommend that. I prefer to record right over here, but that's your choice. Value control, turn it on. Run the front menu mode. And I'll show you how the whole thing works. Five hours and then 41 minutes about. You see, there's no battery at all. So, and in, in, in with battery mode, it's about two hours, all right? But you have to leave a full charge. So here we says full HD, they give me the whole information and how many hours I can record into the unit. I'm going to press menu. And the menu is going to show me here language settings. All right, in time and date, you want to stem the date into the video, we can do that as well too. Quality. You have uh, 1080 uh, high, 60 frames per second, 1080 low, 60 frames per second, 
port in 720. Inputs, just press OK if you want to execute something, AV or HDMI. We leave that, we're going down to the next one. USB mode, charging mode, or you can set it to connect to your computer, be able to read it, whatever you want to choose. All right. A default storage, SD, a schedule recording, if you want to record, you should do it in a week, daily, weekly. In that case, I will leave it always plug in. All right. In the format, the video card, press it in format. I will do that and for the first time as well, too. All right. And that's it. At that mode. Now, how you get into the video mode? Just press mode. And this is the video. Here, I can go to face the next video. Will allow me. It's only one video. I just press OK. And it will show me where I just record. All right. Well, let's record something you guys can see. All right. So let's go back into mode. We are now on the main menu. I'm going to record with my Xbox Series X. I'm going to plug it in. And they said I want to record my gameplay. All right. So let's go and hit record. And you see that recording. I can hear it has a little not super loud but enough to model the sound and now they said i'm just go and uh and move my controller right and move around it's not a lot of sound coming out of this all right but now i can just record and it has a good 1080 i know there has been a lot of light here in the studio so it's a lot of glare but it looks real nice five inches screen high definition stop recording simple as that switch mode my first video my next video, press OK. And now shows my gameplay. As simple as that. It's real nice. So if you want to capture videos, see? Uh, right there. That's it. It's pretty simple to use. I mean, if you're looking to record without having a capture card, right? That's the way to do it. So right now it runs out of battery. So it's real nice that way. How about if you got a bunch of collection of DVD players? You don't have to even connect to a big TV. Just put this right there, connect it. Start recording. And by the way, has what they call the automatic stops recording. So in reality, this if you have a DVD that one hour, you can record play. And this will start recording. When the DVD player stops playing or whatever, whatever the source you send it to the end, it stops. Automatic the video stops. You can set up automatic, automatic stops if you want to do that. So that gives you an idea that you don't need to be watching every second of the video. So guys, I think it's real cool. Super, super small. Definitely comes handy if you do a lot of video editing, right? Or capture all your gameplays or your old collection of DVD and VCRs. Well, you have it here. You know what? How I can get one of these things right now? Simple. Link below this video. I'll see you next time. Bye.